Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with another speed build. This time around we're making another cabin. So this cabin is actually based around a cabin that, you know, I've been to in real life. It was pretty, like, it, we went into it knowing it was run down and everything. But, like, it was, it's a pretty run down cabin. Definitely needs a lot of TLC. <laughs> But my inspiration came from not only the character of it and, and, and um, the look of it, but I loved, I just loved the layout of the cabin. I think it was just such a cute, just a cute little cabin in the woods, you know? <laughs> so yeah, this cabin was out in the middle of the woods. It was a fun little stay that we had and... I just, I just took a lot from, I'm, I'm actually surprised how, I don't want to say close I got it because it is quite far from how it actually was in real life, but eh. I don't have any pictures or anything to share with you guys, but I, um, I definitely wanted the outside to look a little bit more run down, but I didn't use too, too many cheats. I use the, uh, move objects cheat as I typically do. I also, I apologize. My dog is probably making some noises in the background. She has her toys here. And she's just being, you know, she's occupying herself. But anyway, um, I wanted it to, like, look a little bit more worn on the out. Because, like, there was moss growing on the roof and everything. But obviously that's, you know, I mean, I could have used some certain cheats to maybe get some plants up on the roof. But I didn't know if that would look any good. So I just kind of, like, kept it clean but also kept it dirty. But anyway, right just then you, well, we have the layout. Um, that little one over there in the back is, a, back corner is a bathroom. And I was... <laughs> My dog is going to town on her toys. Um, but that's a bathroom back there. And it actually is the most inaccurate part of this cabin. I almost said cottage. The bathroom is very, very similar to what it, I made it into. And it was too small in this build. And I could have made it bigger. But you saw I tried to adjust the roof. And it just didn't really work. So at the end of the day, I just decided to kind of go with it and just kind of throw some things in there and not make it accurate. So I will explain when I start decorating originally what it, what it is um, because I don't think I decorated it until like second or third. So I'm just kind of doing the outside. We had, there's a little wood bin right there. It kind of looks a lot like that, but way bigger, which I guess I should have put a couple of them. Um, and then there's like an old crusty air conditioner there that I don't even know if it works or whatever. <laughs> there's a nice little fireplace and um, we basically when we went to the cabin we didn't stay in the cabin because it you know it's so worn down and everything. We camped outside the cabin. Um, so <laughs> I didn't get to spend much time in here but it def I couldn't even remember what color the walls were. I felt like they were some kind of like yellow but it might have been the lighting but I did want to kind of get like a a granny kind of looking thing going on a little bit uh, kind of but like not too much like I kind of wanted to keep it nice in here but also worn down at the same time unlike the other one which is kind of just very worn down <laughs> it's kind of nice but it could use a lot of work so I didn't want to go with that heavy wallpaper because I wanted I just I just didn't really really like it all that much but I did end up going with the same wallpaper and everything uh, in every room so I'm working on the the bathroom a little bit here. I just want to explain. So do I start working on it? So that little area there is a shower. That's very accurate. Like you walk in, there's the little sh box shower with just a little head on the wall, and then in that bat that other little square is where the toilet goes, <laughs> um, and then the sink goes right in front of it. So you would walk in, shower ahead, and then if you're just facing straight in the doorway, then off to your left there is a sink and then if you walk to the sink off to your right is a bathroom or a toilet so it didn't really all fit properly I had to improvise but this one is kind of like cramped in the living room slash kitchen which I definitely would have liked, like if I were to read I kind of want to like redo the cabin like in my, just take the same shell and like just completely just make it a nice modern cabin or something uh, let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see but I let uh, the kitchen and the living room are so smushed together. But that's fine. It's it's nice and cute and cozy and quaint and all that fun stuff. Um, and it definitely I think <laughs> I think it had a little bit more room than it does end up having here um, because you know you could actually have the little walkway between the chairs and the couch as well as chairs being all around and I could I just didn't want to cram so many chairs in there when I knew they weren't going to be functional and all that stuff so I kind of improvised so 
another thing with the cabin is like there were two bedrooms. The bedrooms are completely, they're not even close. Like, I mean, <laughs> I got kind of close with the layout and the look of the living room slash kitchen and the bathroom really and the outdoor area this little porch here but the bedrooms are like nothing so basically the bedrooms were just rooms with mattresses two double beds you know one in each room and that was pretty much it i mean there was some you know other useless stuff in there you know but <laughs> it, that was pretty much it so i decided to give it a little bit of character and make it seem because obviously if i'm making this the sim's going to be living in it or sim's going to be attempting live whatever um i wanted to make it look like someone was living in it um because the cabin that this is based off of no one lives in currently so obviously the cobwebs and the cracks in the wall and the stains and everything very accurate <laughs> but i mean like the whole layout like i made the blue room like a kid's room a boy's room or whatever and then the the green room is just like the quote-unquote parents bedroom i don't know um it could be who literally whoever could live here i just kind of threw some things together you can see I'm kind of doing a little bit of work on the bathroom here. Now, you can see that little area. It's so, it looks so accurate from, like, this angle, but it's just, like, you can't fit the toilet and the sink to make it work the way it is actually laid out. Like, it's very spacious in in the actual cabin, but, like, it just didn't work out in the build because of the grid placements. So, that's a little bit of a bummer, but honestly, I'm fine with it. I kind of now am feeling inspired to go back to this and do it like completely done up and wonderful and looking amazing <laughs> but i did want to throw in a bunch of just things you know to make it look like there's people living here um it just just some clutter and stuff i wanted to put that nice little plant thing out front but i think i ended up deleting it because i think it looked too nice and i did want to throw in the opportunity to have a dog as well even a cat really if you wanted to i got uh, the bowl the toy box and a pet bed in here so any of your sims that want to have an animal in here would be great. Good place. Uh, by the way, this is available for download on the gallery. My gallery username is Ocluck, and I will be linking it down below if you are interested. Uh, you can follow me on there and download pretty much all the families and all the houses and everything I've worked on in the series. So you can see I'm really trying to make the bathroom work. <laughs> really tried because it was just so close it was really close and i tried to do the sink there but then i'm like nah. um but i did end up doing it that way with the sink on the other side it kind of works i guess so now i am just doing the bedrooms i was gonna do a double bed in there like it actually is in real life but ultimately just decided to do like a kid's room you know Make it like a little family home, a little family cabin, a worn down cabin. Like maybe they moved here. Maybe they didn't have a lot of starter funds. Maybe it's something along like a rags to riches storyline, but not quite. Maybe, um, maybe they're fixing it up as they go. Nice fixer up. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just throwing some random stuff in. Um, I actually had a lot of fun with the kids room. Like a lot of fun actually. I uh, just started putting in a bunch of random things and... Um, I, I don't know. I just <laughs> started going out. I really do wish I was looking, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not like huge on remembering everything that comes in every pack and all of that stuff, but I was, re I really wanted these like wire, these cheap beds, like the, the, tw the single beds. I wanted that in a double size, but I just didn't see it. And I don't think there is one available like now that I <laughs> kind of realized and looked at the catalog and everything and i really wish there was one but i thought the wood one was pretty nice it ended up looking pretty good uh it, it kind of goes with the theme i guess <laughs> and i am now just realizing that the window isn't centered on the back which i don't know if it i think it actually is centered but it can't be centered i'm not sure uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, having tons of fun with the clutter and the kids' rooms and everything. And there were a few things that I found here and there that I wanted to add in at last minute. And um, I don't know, I just made it look a little bit more lived in. Although it does really look lived in with all of the... Well, no, it looks more so abandoned. <laughs> Not lived in. But now it looks lived in. It's like abandoned, once abandoned, now lived in. I'm going to say, like, perfect for a sim who's fixing it up as they go. Maybe. <laughs> or... Or it's just their, their starter home. I don't know. It probably isn't. I don't remember how much this one costs. 
but it's probably not within the starter funds. I don't really pay attention to that too much unless I'm specifically making a starter home, which I guess I should have thought about. I didn't really think about that. But anyway, <laughs> so I did work a lot on the outside because I wanted, I think at the beginning, I wanted to make it look a little bit more like mossy and I don't know, something. Um, so I was just trying to find all of those things and kind of like blend them together, all of the ivy and all of the flower ivy, <laughs> trying to make it look not so obvious. Um, I definitely, it is very wooded, like it's, it's, it's in a national forest, so it's very wooded heavily, and um, I wanted to make it kind of look like it was. And of course, since we camped out, I decided to put a tent in the backyard because it, it is a good idea to have a tent. <laughs> Um, and then I just threw in some trees that I thought would go along with the environment. And I did take out some of the plants and stuff, some of the, the ivies and stuff that I put on the walls. But that, that's pretty much all of the, I tried to find some other trees that would go, but a lot of them, I was just like, this one doesn't go with the vibe. <laughs> Oh goodness, but I had a lot of fun with this build, especially since it was inspired from a real life home that I've been to. Um, and then obviously you can see that there's a campsite there, like a little fire pit, which is actually there. And a really cool thing was, this is the Cottage MC lot in Windenburg that I built on, and it has that creek running through there. That's actually how it is in real life as well, which I kind of didn't plan because I always build on the Cottage MC lot just because I love the look of it and just the size of it's a nice size. So it was just really handy that, like I think I was halfway through the build and I was like, I should build a pond to simulate like a creek or something. But, haha, <laughs> surprise, it turns out there's one on this lot, so I just didn't do it. And I just figured I'd leave it up to everybody. Because I always put the pawns on the lots, and I kind of wanted to mix it up just a little bit, you know? <laughs> I didn't want to be too predictable. <laughs> Even though it is, you know, I, I think I have another build video coming up soon that has a pond in it. <laughs> They're all, all the pawns, you know? It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's 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 good. I like building ponds. I wish we had like more fountain materials and more pool materials and more t pool waters and stuff like ones with fish in them or something. Oh my gosh, I'd have so much fun. I think it's one of my favorite things to just build, even though they always look identical almost. But anyway, um, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for this build. We're going to be hopping into the tour here very very soon. And we're gonna just get a hands-on look here. So, oh, and I did throw up some extra details. I was trying to find every last minute, but anyway. So we're going to take a tour now. All right, you guys, here we are at the cabin. We have the nice little flower bed in the front, and then it's not really supposed to be like a nice little flower bed. It's just overgrown stuff. And then we have this area here, but let's go ahead in to the house. Now this is it, this is the stuff, this is, <laughs> It looks so worn. It looks so good though. It looks like it like I'm there. I feel like I'm there um, So let's go over to this end over here and look at it through this th This angle uh, So we have a nice. I love the screen porch the screen. It keeps calling it the screen porch the screen door because we can see outside We have that well, we'll look at that in a minute so we have all of the kitchen stuff and then the door to the outside slash the bathroom. And we just have the nice little, this, this, this is just so good, a nice little seating area, some just tables and everything. And then over here we have the little fireplace with uh, some knickknacks and like a map. There's actually a map above the fireplace too in real life. And then we have the dog stuff and the magazines and fun stuff. So let's go into this first bedroom. So this is bedroom numero uno. And it has a lot of damage on the walls over here. <laughs> but as you can see, we have a nice little green theme going on. We have um, so this person who lives here seems to be into knitting. We have our yarn art. Um, we got some weaving materials there. And we have, you know, this basket here. And then, of course, we just have the bed. And then we have the animal bed there. And then just a crate, so it's kind of nice and simple, nothing too, too fancy. Got some spider webs, so you know, gotta keep it realistic. Then going back out here, we're gonna walk over to the second bedroom. So going into the second bedroom, aka the children's room, <laughs> we have uh, less damage on the walls. There's a tree clipping through there, I didn't realize that was happening. Um, but we have uh, just the normal damage on the walls. We have two beds, we have some stuff from the the backpacks just laying around 
a bunch of clutter on the desk there. Lots of fun stuff. And then we just have this like soccer area with like the soccer ball lamp with the team there. I thought that was a nice little touch. And then we can go over here into the porch, which I didn't really do much with, mostly because I guess I just didn't really observe what was on the porch. And at the time, I guess I could have put a rocking chair and stuff out here because there were rocking or like chairs out there. I didn't really think to do that, but I wanted to keep it simple. Like just put a bike out here and a planting station. I didn't really, I really didn't want to get too fancy. So feel free to do with that what you will. And then the bathroom. So we have this sink, we have the shower here, you just step into the shower, and then we go over here, so, and then there's the toilet. So what was happening, the toilet was there, and then the sink was like, it was right here. If you, I'd be standing at the sink, basically. So it just, it just wasn't going to work with the walls and everything, but I think it turned out pretty nice for what it is. Then, let's just take a walk in the backyard, you know, not really too fancy, because... You know, we just have the trees and everything. But let's walk back to the campsite. So we have the tent in the fireplace. And then, of course, we have the creek over there, which actually it just it kind of creeps me out how, like, realistic it is or whatever. But anyway, guys, that is, that's it. That is our, our build. Like I said, this will be available for download on the gallery if you are interested. My gallery ID is Oakluck if you are interested in finding me on there. But leave me comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to see a renovated version of this or if you want to see me build something else, something specific, whatever. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.